The college years provide an opportunity to meet all kinds of people to create friendships that can last a lifetime. For students from one family, this semester has a certain familiarity to it. In fact, as Taj Mahal discovered, it's very much like a family reunion. The excitement of new beginnings and a fresh start. <laughs> Mia Carter and Samantha Malcheski just started a new year at Carthage College. For these two sisters, a new school year is a little less scary when they have each other to lean on for support. I actually came to the school because of my uh, stepmom. She really inspired me to come to campus um, and join the dance team here. And I really enjoyed the nursing program. Samantha Malcheski is a sophomore nursing student with a passion for dance. Her sister Mia is starting the year as a freshman, studying accounting and marketing. I've grew up on this campus, like my mom has worked here for like over 20 years, so it's kind of felt like home. A home away from home. Carthage College has been around for more than 170 years, and the girls are proud to be firebirds. But they're not alone. As they navigate a new school year, they have some company. Their mom, Amy Malcheski, is not only working on the campus, but this year she's enrolled as a student too. I've worked here for a long time, and I'm excited that my children are students, but it was even more exciting to be a student myself. And like her two girls, Amy is also not alone this school year. Not only is she sharing a campus with her daughters, she's also sharing a campus with her mom. I think it's awesome. Three generations. It's kind of crazy. One campus. I'm so proud. Every day on campus is now a family affair. Christy Schwann decided to join her daughter Amy in the business program this year. It's just fun to be able to see them here when I'm on campus. I just feel really proud to be like watching my daughters grow up and um, become more mature and have new experiences, but then also to see my mom accomplish something that she's always wanted to, and then even to accomplish something that I've always wanted to myself. Like, I'm just like, I could probably burst. I'm so proud right now. Following retirement, Christy says pursuing her master's degree is something she's always wanted to do. I'd owned a company, uh, ended up selling it uh, just a few years ago to an international firm. And since I owned the company, I never really uh, needed to finish that master's degree. I'd started it, but never really needed to finish it as the business owner. Now she's working to accomplish her goal <laughs> and sharing the experience with her daughter and granddaughters. The girls say they love having mom and grandma on campus. We always know they're close, so if we ever want to go do something, we can always just like text them and be like, hey, let's go hang out. Study dates will happen in this family, but sharing this experience has sparked a level of inspiration to dream big that crosses all three generations. My mom raised me, obviously, to um, to face my fears, right? I, th I always say I'm like, I think I'm afraid every day of my life, but I just do things anyway, and um, my mom taught me that. It's just so amazing to look up to that. Like, that's literally what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be able to do whatever I, I want. Inspiration trickling down the family tree. It's not very typical for <laughs> people their age to go to college, but it's really crazy. To, they were like, OK, let's just do it. And then they end up applying, getting in, and now they're going on this amazing, like, 10-month experience together. And I think it's really cool that they get to experience that together, but then we also get to follow in their footsteps later. And while on the journey, the girls have some friendly advice for their mom and grandma from one student to another. Stay on schedule, learn good time management. It can be really easy to get distracted. Staying on schedule will be a goal and so will quality family time. One of the reasons I did ask her to do this, you know, I thought that maybe this would be a good idea for her to do with me is her own mother passed away this year and she was feeling lonely and um, all that time that she spent talking with her mom and doing things with her mom, I felt I felt like she had that like emptiness a little bit and I just was like, you know what? Let's spend more time together. And while learning lessons herself this semester, Christy like hopes to pass along a lesson to all three of her girls. And I want them to know that it doesn't age is, is meaningless. You can do whatever you want at any age that you want and that learning is something that you do throughout your whole life.